Happy Sunday, YouTube land out there. Welcome to my inspirational content once again. The lesson we have today is going to be out of my devotion book, 366 Devotions, Words of Jesus for Daily Living, Reflections on the Greatest Words Ever Spoken. And that is something I've been reading from, that's the book I've been reading from for the last few weeks. Uh, the name of the lesson that we're going to get into today is X-Ray Vision. Jesus knew their thoughts. That is the words of Jesus. Well, it's not the words of Jesus. It's explaining Jesus knew their thoughts. I am often amused and interested when I realize that we sometimes think that the Lord has no idea what we are thinking about. Thousands of thoughts flash through our minds regularly, and often we're not even aware of what we are thinking. We have all experienced the situation of talking to someone only to find that our thoughts were not on the conversation. Or perhaps when someone else has been talking, you've been busy thinking of what you'd like to say, but you're actually a little afraid to what you think in case your words offend that person. So you keep quiet, but your thoughts have already been heard. Perhaps you have caught yourself thinking, if you only knew what's going on in my head. God's thoughts are not our thoughts, but our thoughts are not unknown to him. Jesus knew what was going on in the hearts of people long before they said a single word. We cannot deceive him with secret hidden thoughts. He knows everything about us and tests our deepest motives. This would be a stressful thought if we did not also know that He understands us and loves us unconditionally. He knows our weaknesses and our sins. He also knows the struggle we have to keep our thoughts pure. The more honestly we share our thoughts with God, the better our spiritual life will become. Share everything you think with him today. May God add a blessing to the reading of this lesson. And I hope it's a blessing to you. It's definitely a blessing to me. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Hit the notifications bell for future notifications to this channel. And remember, God loves you. I love you more. Thank you again to everybody who prayed about the situation that I requested you all to pray for two videos ago. Uh, I believe that was Friday. And um, God really worked things out. And I'm still praying for some bigger issues to be turned around. Uh, my father did get a chance to see his wife again after one year or just about a year of them not seeing each other in the flesh besides tele telephone conversations and FaceTime uh, videos on uh, Facebook. Um, they was able to see each other uh, for about, I guess we was together for about four or five hours uh, with uh, the other side of our family members uh, who uh, have access to my stepmother. So we just thank God for continually to work all the other issues out. God is able to turn things around where they can be together uh, under one roof. Uh, uh, we're praying for a different setting that will work out for everybody, work out for them, work out for uh, all the caretakers and everything. Nothing is impossible for God to do. We just have to hold on to God's promises and His unchanging hands. And like I said, He knows our thoughts before we even pray. Before we even know what our desires are, we already know what the thoughts are. So keep that in mind. Don't get discouraged. Don't get dismayed. And don't turn away from Jesus. Because where else will you go? Where will we go? Where will we go if we turn away from Jesus? Amen. We think about all the tests and trials that we go through. And we are followers of Christ. So can you imagine what troubles we would face if we were not believing in Christ? If we didn't have him to pray, to cast our cares upon him, what would we do? We would be destroyed. We, we, will, we will lose hope. We wouldn't have any hope. We wouldn't have a reason to hope if we didn't have Christ to think about and to keep our focus on and to look forward to that inner peace and that inner joy that the world can give to us, only He can give to us. Amen. Can you, you all agree with that? 
remember to comment. I love to hear your comments, read your comments on me, and um, have a very blessed Sunday. Bye.